today's lecture is for semester 2 uh, paper 3 based on electricity and magnetism and the topic which we will discuss today will be uh, number 1 torque on a current loop number 2 ballistic galvanometer I think it will be visible I think will number 3 current and charge sensitivity Number four, electromagnetic damping. And number five, finally, you will start, I uh, will do logarithmic, logarithmic. Damping. So this will these are the topic which we will discuss today. Uh, first one will be that is the torque on a current loop. So uh, we will just see how it could be derived. Here we have we are having here a, a squarish loop or a, the rectangular loop rather. The length of the loop is L and the breadth is B. The magnetic field B, uniform magnetic field B is acting on it. Now the force which will act on the wire will be given by I B into B here on this wire will be I L B again on this wire will be I B into B and along this wire it will be again I L B so what we will see if we will assign the name force F1 F2 F3 and F4 and we always assume over here that the current I is moving in an anti-clockwise direction in the loop the rectangular loop we will see that the force F1 will cancel out Uh, F3 and similarly F4 I mean F4 will cancel out F2 so uh, this topic basically is uh, torque on a current Loop. Now, what we'll do is that we'll just tilt the loop. So, in this particular case, basically, the I mean, if the forces they are cancelling out each other, that is, F1 is cancelling out F3 and F4 is cancelling out F2. So, ultimately, no force will be acting on the loop. The resultant will be zero. So, what we will do next is that we'll just try to uh, tilt the loop. Okay. So it will make again an angle theta. Uh, <coughs> we are having this loop again. It will make so. What we'll do is that we'll just tilting it. So uh, now the loop is something like this. So it will be in a new position which we can see over here and it makes an angle theta that it moves along this particular line. So what you can see over here is that now this has been shifted to new position over here right the dotted line rather which you can see in the figure. Now it makes an angle theta with it. Now again 
the current is same what we have earlier resumed it's i the the magnetic field b it's coming out from the you know <coughs> it's pointing towards me so what you can see is like uh, uh, it's very very clear now now the force again over here will be f1 along this direction or what is it's f3 rather f3 earlier what we have seen is f3 it's going to be f1 along this direction uh, f4 along or rather f2 f2 along this direction and f4 along this direction so now what will happen is that again f2 will cancel out f4 okay but the thing is that what will happen to this f3 and f4 <clears throat> now uh, what we can see over here is that uh, there is an angle theta and this is a perpendicular distance which can which we can see over here so uh, this distance the length is b so this will be b by 2 and this is theta so this will be this particular line will be b by 2 sine theta okay so the torque of f3 about this be o okay about o has magnitude has magnitude uh, let it be o p q so o p cross uh, this is f3 so force into perpendicular distance that is b by 2 f3 sin theta we know what is f3 f3 is i l b sin theta so <coughs> f12 will have the same magnitude similarly uh, the torque of f1 about o will have the value Uh, we'll have the value um, again b by 2 i l b psi theta okay so the total torque Total torque acting on the loop <coughs> acting on the loop is Therefore, tau is equal to b by 2 i l b sin theta plus b by 2 i l b sin theta is equal to i e b sin theta where a is equal to l into b the area of the the area of the the area of the loop the normal area now if vector a if vector a 
वेक्टर ए इज द एरिया वेक्टर इज द एरिया वेक्टर ऑफ द लोक ओके पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स द pointing in an outward direction okay then then tau is equal to i a cross b okay or tau equal to put a vector sign over there tau is equal to mu cross b where mu is equal to i vector a is called the magnetic light bulb moment so this is one of the derivation as far as torque on a current loop is concerned if uh, it has n n number of turn n number of turns then tau will be equal to n i a cross b right so this is how it works thank you